guys thank you for tuning in to my channel welcome back if you haven't subscribed please do not forget to hit the subscribe button like comment and share this video to your other uh, social media platforms well I'm back again today with a very interesting video I want to make a simple breakfast item this is a it's called a Korean style scallion pancakes with sausages so you know we're so used to the breakfast having uh, so used to having uh, just bread maybe if we do something extra we do eggs and tea and so um i just want to prepare this as a way to help us out with just maneuvering when it comes to breakfast you don't have to get bored every single day when you think of doing breakfast or having a breakfast just the thought of having eggs and bread and maybe if we go extra we'll do sausages and for some bacons you know so this is just uh it's a simple way of uh, making your breakfast more fun more appetizing just uh, ideas you know I, I normally say cooking is an art so you can do anything you know you can try it doesn't have to be a criteria i have to follow this and this and this to get this so i'm hoping this is going to help many if you're looking for easy breakfast hacks so this is called the korean style sausage pancake scallions so what i have here um uh, this are sausages i chopped them off i got some milk over here i'm hoping you're able to see i um, got milk i got sugar i did uh three tablespoons of sugar you don't need a lot of sugar i have some freezing flour i did a cup i did caster sugar caster sugar or you can use either caster sugar or you can use icing sugar this is for the sauce i will be making after or rather in between to use to take your pancakes and then i got spring onions chopped finely of course i got virgin oil I got a uh, tomato paste if you if you're a chili lover you can use tomato paste that has got chili in it then I got desiccated coconut and three eggs so what I'm going to start by doing I'm going to start by mixing making my pancake paste I'm going to do the flour I'll whisk the flour together with milk and the eggs so that you can, you know, at least you can start from somewhere. So first I'll mix the dry ingredients and adding my sugar. You can put a little bit of salt, but I don't like salt in my pancakes, so I won't do salt. And then... Uh, so I'm mixing, I'm mixing the salt and flour. Remember I said I did one cup of flour, self-raising. If you're not using self-raising flour for pancakes, please ensure you do baking powder on any other flour that is not so crazy so pretty much that is done so I'm going to add my eggs these are three eggs I'm going to add the eggs and the milk for the milk I'll add gradually so that I don't have I don't have to end up having a watery mixture because I need something with a heavy consistency like a cake paste somehow so I'll add my milk gradually as you go on I'm going to whisk it So what I want
want to add actually is uh, the spring onions i want to add it to the paste and then i leave some little uh, onions for the sauce once you've added onions make sure again you whisk The other option is you don't slice the spring onions or you don't chop them uh, as, as I did. You can do chunky. Um, I don't like chunky chopped onions, so I, I opt for the sliced, the small sliced ones. But chunky is also another option. That's enough. Now I'm going to add my desiccated coconut into this paste. After I do that, I'll just make sure I mix in a little bit. I love what I have over here. This is so very good. This is nice. So I'm going to heat my oil. I first want the, the pan to heat a little bit before I add oil to it. Let the oil heat. Let the oil heat before you add your pancake paste to it so that uh, it makes wax easier, you know, when you cook on uh, hot, hot, hot oil, it makes work easier. I think my oil is fine. What I'm going to do, I'm going to scoop just one spoon. your fire then this is the point you add your sausages is just the thing so let the other side also cook At 
slow fire, let it cook a little bit more so that even the inside gets to cook so well. When it's ready, plate it somewhere. I want to flip the other side so that you get to see. After doing the pancakes, very quickly I'm going to make the sauce for having the pancakes with. So these are my the remaining spring onions that I had left. I'm going to add just a little bit of soy sauce. I'm going to add caster sugar. And first mix together. Then I'm going to put my tomato paste. Together with the vinegar. You can add beef broth or chicken broth to this. It's a preference, but it's not a must do thing. So, forgive my clumsiness. I'm just trying to do the sauce very quickly. And once done, I'll put it in a clean bowl. This is how our sauce has ended up looking like. I'll take a clean plate. Now I want to plate my I want to plate my what? My, my skull and pancakes. Before I do that, I just want to be able to make it easy. And so, this is the plate of a very simple breakfast meal you can make. You can have it with any kind of drinks. You can have it with tea. You can do it with um, what is this called? You can do it with coffee. You can do it with the juices. Anything. It's very very easy to do, and it's um, it's time convenient as well. So anytime you cook anything, of course, it has to go to the stomach and 
where the where it hits the road is on the taste. Have you have you hit or have you achieved the the, the target you wanted? Have you achieved the taste of what you actually wanted to make so i'm going to prove that i hope it is how i imagined it in my head it could be the sauce is on another level oh my goodness remember i did uh, I used icing sugar, but you can use caster sugar if you don't have icing sugar. So the taste is something. This is just lovely. I can't even explain it. Please, people, stop taking simple breakfast. Have something like this, you know. Like, just make, make make life a bit more interesting, make your meals a bit more interesting and healthy. You know, forget to keep healthy, you know. So, I believe for me, I may say it's simple and maybe it's not simple to someone else, but I believe it's something simple that you can do. It's not something that will, um, you'll break the bank to have the ingredients to do it. It's, it's easy, guys. It's easy. Once again, if you haven't subscribed, please do not forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you are notified every single time we post and if you want to stick around if you want to get to enjoy having such more videos of different kind of recipes new recipes anything we can invite you know with cooking you can always change something to something and it becomes even better than the original one so if you want more of those please stay tuned to my videos at any given time we get to post do not forget to hit the subscribe button also share widely to your friends to your family to your colleagues so that they also get to learn as how to make a simple breakfast dish and until next time thank you guys for tuning in i am very much grateful i am very much grateful until next time see you guys bye